All right. It has been a while. I had to take a week break for reasons. Uh, what are we doing actually, though? Investigate apartment 209. That's what I was on. For that, I needed to get upstairs. And then find it. I, re I remember it being weirdly difficult to find. Because it wasn't directly next to 210, which made no sense. Oh, this again. No, mom's fucking dead, child. She's been dead for ages. I don't. I know you. You, you tell us. You hear her. And she's right behind us. And she's hiding under your bed. And she caresses your hair at night. But she's dead, child. She's been dead. And you have to accept and move on. Oh, 209. Got it. KPD, I need to ask you some questions. What's your name, boy? Uh, I like to know who I'm speaking to. Daniel Lazarski. Uh, John Bukowski. Uh, good to meet you, Daniel Lazarski. Same here. Tell me, Daniel. Uh, that rumbling I heard, uh, was that all locked down? Yeah, yeah pretty it much. Was. We're trying to rule out the phage. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't seem to bother you. <laughs> hey, are we, are we having fun or what? <laughs> I know you're from somewhere. The name rings a bell. <sighs> Lots of people used to know me back when I was in the ring. Hang on. You're the champ. Bulldozer Bukowski. Uh, what's left of him? Uh, I used to be able to crush a man's skull with my bare hands. Uh, now I can't even wipe my own ass. Can't figure out how to what's frame wrong? yourself what properly either. Ass? It's like. It's like everyone in this universe is, is, is an old the little grandma. Happened. My retirement having to happened. use this technology for the first time. There's no no grandma. You're too close. I only see your eye, grandma. Just take a take a little back. No, you don't have to be this close to the phone. No, now now you turn the phone around, grandma. <laughs> grandma. <laughs> no, grandma. Frame is. You see the little picture. You see the little picture there where, where it's your own face? No, you don't have to stare into the picture, Grandma. You have to set, maneuver yourself. <laughs> so you see, you see, Grandma. Oh, you've ended the call, Grandma. Ah, oh, goddammit, Grandma. Who gives a flying shit about the other tenants, right? Oh, you mean the selfish pricks who are too busy with their worthless lives to help out an old cripple? <laughs> Uh, the ones who turn up their projectors when they hear a neighbor calling. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I don't really care. <gasps> we all get what we deserve. Anything you need in there, old man. An extra lung, maybe. Oh, I got one of those. All I have left. You used to have all sorts of great shit back in the day. Uh, carbo tie legs, uh, a pneumatic arm, reinforced skin. Hell, 
I even had some of my internal organs replaced. What happened? You lose them because of an outbreak? Uh, I wish. <sighs> At least that would have been vaguely poetic. So what crippled you in the end? Depp? <laughs> oh. The fine print. Must be tough to go on like this. <sighs> yeah. But I can't just give up. <sighs> Not in my DNA. I suppose the drugs helped you out a little? Hey, I ain't no fucking junkie. <laughs> you, you got that? You know what I got? You get your painkillers from Amir. Uh, who? Come on, I found a big stash with your name on it. No need to who me. Uh, what the hell? <sighs> yeah, he... He brings me stuff sometimes. Well, that's too bad, because he's dead now. I gotta go. Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hold on, Lasarski. Uh, what did you say? I said I gotta go. <sighs> no. No, before that. You said the kid's dead. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> there goes my discount. I mean, I guess it's difficult to breathe with one lung. Any idea who did have been? I was hoping you could tell me. <sighs> nah, ain't got a clue. All right, Kemp. Hang in there. <sighs> yeah, oh, fuck, fuck my do. second monitor spazzing out. I hope that's not doing anything in the recording. Okay, interrogate the neighbors. I think I've done that to a very good degree. Okay, now we go to the tattoo parlor downstairs. It's through here. Nah, I ain't going that. We're going down. Did this close behind me? Spooky. That bird just lightly pushed me with its hitbox. Amazing. Ground floor. Yep, that's where we want to be. Well, that's a tattoo shop. I wasn't able to get in last time. I don't see why I should be able to get in now. It, the door's locked. Maybe I can speak through the door. Is that what? Oh, now it's open? Well, that's concerning. Is this how you tattoo these days? You use weird sex dolls? Classic bestseller, Nana Fage and I. This is not what I'd classify as a tattoo. More like a horrid abomination. We still we still in reality? Or am I going insane? Oh, there's another level on here, isn't it? Oh I I'm uh I'm not sure I'm feeling it right now what in God's name is now I can 
go down, but that will also instantly kill me. So I do have to somehow cut through here, but that will also instantly kill me. This level that what? Wait, I don't need maybe I don't need it. I just need the money, right? Ah oh, well that's what this one was easy then. Like the sword was a complete distraction. And once Sherlock Holmes used to say, if you rule out all the impossibility, what's left is the only uh, answer or something. And they say that in every damn detective show. Like they're, they feel so smart whenever they, they quote that. Sick tats. Is that a work you done, my friend? And I gotta tell you, it's some seriously wicked ink. Oh boy. Here is Skull of Flayer, so I should... We got the right address. This is not in the fact that checked into two puddle pieces of God's message. Who think you are? I was told by one of your former clients about a special line of tattoo. The hind count. My son very much like to get one of those. In fact, he needs to get it immediately. I know you told me to not come to you again. I played all your messages this tree. But it's like, yeah, I only want to thank you once again. Did you turn out to be a thing of beauty? Cool. So... He makes life-saving tattoos. I mean, that's what art is, isn't it? It, it changes your life. Collection of early 21st century body art. Yeah, that look, those look like tattoos. I can confirm, as a tattoo expert, these look like tattoos. Oh my god, there's a lot of documents. I, I can also confirm that these mostly also look like tattoos. My my official that's my official stance as a tattoo informant for the New York police. Okay, do we have anything interesting in here? Cash registry? Oh, it's a cash register. Oh shit, I didn't know. There's nothing in here. This is just a personal computer. Midway upon the journey of our life, I found myself within a forest dark, for the straightforward pathway had been lost. It is the seventh day of my forcefully imposed penance, and I can already attest without any doubt that this place is in fact hell. These people are dead. Dead to the world. Their bodies still shuffle around their tiny apartments, but their minds are long gone. Not their minds. A mind's a terrible thing to lose. Oh, she's dead. Damn, there's too many dead people. Poor Hannon. Lazarski, 656210. We have a third victim. Time of death, about an hour ago. Starting forensic analysis. Holo injector. I don't know what that means. Power adapter. I said, Can I walk around you? Yes, I can. Let's have a little look here. 
This is a tattoo gun. Yes. This is a, a wireless pal. Okay. This is. We got a match. So you call the dead man in Adam's apartment. And then a killer kill you. The neural implants untouched. Junior programmer? Hey, just like me. I I am a programmer too these days. Definitely, definitely am. My main job besides my deep. NYPD job. Trail goes cold. What the fuck did you think you'd find here? The victim's blood is mixed with ink. Elevated hormone levels. Oh fuck. The killer used the tattoo machine as a murder weapon. That's a bit rude. The Vic is one Helena Novak, wife of the previous victim, Amir Novak. Was I just able to scan an entire chair? Not only whenever it 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 be okay, yeah, okay. So got that, got this. Oh, there's something over here. Blood. More shit here. More blood. Blood. Let me guess. Blood. Scratch. Oh, surface damage. Floor. Looks like she was dragged back here. I've already looked at this. This is just another recorder yet. Look at that, yes. How do I log into her brain? Like that. Warning. Attempting a necroneural connection is in direct violation of the Postmortem Observation Act of 2061. Authorization denied. Emergency override. Open maintenance bed. I feel like we shouldn't go into, s into the head of a dead person. That just seems stupid. This better be worth it. There's no brain activity in a dead person. How would this even work? Well, like this, apparently. Huh? This is oddly clean. Maybe I should only go in dead people's minds. Chiron, job interview 3351. Junior program loading. Yes, teach me. Teach me how I can apply for a job. It's not been going well. Welcome, Miss Novak. You are a valuable asset to our company. Your hard work and loyalty are always appreciated. Well, no, she already. Damn it, this is not for no help. Please relax and ask as truthfully as you can. Do you want your whole head to thrive? Well, yes. Do you want to make the world a better place? Obviously. Why can't I... Don't lie to us. I, I depress, yes. Do you want to live without fear? Yes. Do you want to establish a productive relationship with Cairo? Yeah. Really cooperate. Press O. O. Really comply. Press B. O. B. Really you conform. Press E. Obey. Okay. The Republic is your mother. Chiron is your father. 
A mother's love is unconditional. A father's pride demands sacrifice. Are you willing to sacrifice for the greater good? No, fuck you. Okay, Jesus Christ, fine. Fine, if we're still if we're still in the moms are great, fathers are actually assholes narrative. Then fine, yes.